Hello, in this video, we're going to show that the Komogorov uh, Smirnoff one sample statistic is distribution free. It's a pretty non, it's a pretty popular non parametric test to test two distribution functions. Um, and to me, it's a little surprising that it is non parametric, but it is, as we will see. So here we're going to let our data be. Uh, from some X where F is continuous, F is the CDF function. Um, we have the order statistics, 1 through N, and that's the uh, ordered values of our sample. Um, we're going to add to, uh, or you know, by definition, we're going to let X0 be negative infinity and X N plus 1, which is one more than our sample, be positive infinity. The standard uh, empirical CDF is uh, I over N, and you know I represents the order statistics. So it's basically how many observations are less than or equal to X, and that's our empirical distribution. And then the KS statistic, by you know, it's defined as DN. Um, it's the supremum of this difference. Now supremum means it's the least upper bound. So you take, it's a value that's bigger than all these differences, but that set of all upper bounds find the smallest one. That's what the supremum means. And and it makes sense. It's a very intuitive um, test statistic. It's, you know, and if this, the difference of our hypothesized CDF and our empirical, meaning our data, if, the, if there's a difference too big, well then this is probably not from this distribution. So there's a nice intuitive feel. Oh, and this is absolute value. So it's the great, that's the uh, supremum of the absolute difference. So an equivalent test is, um, it's the maximum of D in plus and D in minus. And that's uh, basically looking at it one way. So DN plus is always looking at the empirical minus the, um, you know, the hypothesized CDF and DN minus is the other way. It's the difference of F minus S. And these are not absolute values. So these are the sign differences. And so the biggest one of these is still going to be the biggest, you know, DN. And so these are equivalent, but the way I think I like to think about this, it's easier for me to show that one of these is non-parametric, or that these are non-parametric, and then the you know the maximum of those is our true uh, KS test. So here is the setting. So kind of ignore this for a second. Um, this is this is the test statistic, supremum. So let's draw a graph. We're, we're doing DN plus, so it's the one-sided difference. So if this is a scenario, if this is the F of X, and this is S of X, we're looking at this difference here. You know, here, 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 here. And where, what's the, the supremum, the biggest difference? Um, if we think about it, because of the uh, empirical CDF is is a step function, we, and if we look at the the difference within each of those step functions, that's the same as doing it over the whole curve. So here, this difference is positive, and then when we go out here, this difference is negative because f minus s is what we're looking at. So what, what this net, next step says is, hey, instead of looking over the whole curve, we can actually just look over each, the, the you know, between the order statistics and then find the maximum. It's the, these are the same. And this is just sort of an incremental way to do it. So it's in the whole curve. Now, when we look at each, um, within each uh, set or between order statistics, um, you know, each each jump here is, um, I, you know, it's I over N. It's I divided by N. 
that's the the uh, empirical CDF so we can just replace that since we're looking between each gap now we want to find the biggest one of these now since this is doesn't really change between the order statistics if we can find the uh, smallest value of this then it makes this value biggest okay so we want to find the biggest difference so we want to minimize this so if we look between each set of order statistics the biggest um, well, actually let me show you that step here so we're we just need to minimize the F between the order statistics and now if we um, look at these gaps between order statistics where the biggest difference is you know or where F is smallest is always at the left side because the CDF is a non decreasing function so this gap here this is a you know F is smallest at this point now if you here the differences are positive and then it goes negative so the biggest difference is always at the left side between these order statistics so the, the smallest value here is actually at the left side of that interval so the infimum is always at the left now um, we're looking at these differences and we want the, the biggest positive difference all right because we're doing the one sided for now so um, we want the maximum of the maximum of this of all these and zero so we want it to be positive and then uh, and so that's it so now the beauty of this right here is f of x x i so if we put in an order statistic into any continuous CDF this right here is an order statistic from a uniform 0 1 value so no matter what continuous CDF we hypothesize it to be it boils down to looking at order statistics from a uniform 0 1 variable and that and that fact is on my previous uh, video called the probability integral transformation uh, worth looking at to show and to prove that this is a uniform zero one variable now so this st test statistic doesn't rely on the original cumulative CDF or a hypothesized CDF and to me that's pretty darn fascinating so we don't even need to know it um, and then similarly we can if we look at the DN minus where we're looking at the differences uh, other way of F of x minus s of x it can be shown to be this so we're looking at the mat you know um, the maximum difference here or zero because we want it to always be a positive difference and so both of the dn minus and dn plus are distribution free because um, th this is a uniform zero one and so our test statistic dn which is the maximum of these differences is non-parametric it's distribution free so anyway that's all I have for today um, I find that pretty fascinating um, hope you did too if you did like the video subscribe so you don't miss the next one thank you bye